Hi, this is Jody from Puppy Winkle, and today I'm going to talk about digital downloads. They're also known as digi kits or printable papers. They are usually you purchase them for a couple dollars, and it's a file that you have on your computer, usually a JPEG or a PDF, and you use it to print the pages. And the pages usually have background background pages, or they'll have pockets or fussy cuts, all sorts of different things. And that's the first thing you want to think of before you just start printing them wild because you want to print different things on different kinds of paper. So the background, sometimes I'll, that's a background, sometimes I'll print it on cardstock if I want something sturdy. And you print it on, usually you print it on both sides. So that's a background kind of thing on cardstock. This one I printed on an old envelope, a big a big envelope, just on one side, and then the other side I left it like obviously an envelope, and then I ripped the edges and inked them. So get creative with with how you print. This I printed on just regular 20 pound copy paper and then coffee dyed it and then after it was dry I made it wet to make that little stain and then I ripped the edges and inked them but after I did that I thought well that coffee kind of kind of ruined my color so then I tried just water because <laughs> I love the crinkly feeling so here's one Printed on both sides, super crinkly and crunchy. And all I did was after I printed it, I put it on a cookie sheet with some water in it, just dipped it in, and then put it on a towel to dry. And that's all it is. So I'm liking that a lot. And it was so easy, no mess, because there's no coffee stain and everything. I just piled a bunch of towels up that didn't get ruined because it was just water. And I made, I made a bunch of them just on one little part of my countertop. So, yeah, I'm liking that. Again, ripped and inked the edges. This was journaling cards, meant to be journaling cards, four different journaling cards. And then I used an old paper texture, digital download, to print on the back. So when you cut them out, it's not just plain white on the back. So those are journaling cards, card stock. And then the fussy cuts, here I printed them on rice paper. Another thing you can use, I use I was using 20 pound copy, or copy paper just because that's all I have, but if you have 24 or 28 pound copy paper, it, it'll give you a simmer, similar like papery fabric kind of texture. So experiment with the different kinds of copy paper too. But anyway, this is rice paper. And like I said, it just has a really nice texture, better than copy paper. So you have to fussy cut them out. And what's even better for fussy cut is tissue, just plain old gift tissue. Oh, I have a, I have a blog on how to do that. I will link that a blog post on how to print on tissue paper. But the great thing about this is you just kind of rough rip it out and as you decoupage it, the white disappears so you don't have to fussy cut these. And I'll show you, I'll show you how I use all this stuff and how it looks. And then you can also do your fussy cuts on cardstock. I use that to like line a pocket or anywhere I need it to be uh, I'll show it anytime I need it to be sturdy. I use the cardstock. I'll show you what I mean by line in the pocket. So these are meant to be pockets, although there's some cards too. Some little, I don't know what, little tiny little cards. But anyway, I put this on vellum, which is a whole other texture and it's super strong. So that's vellum. And then here is, 
I didn't use white cardstock. It's not really showing up, but this I did on pink cardstock. So you can experiment. I've also done it on craft cardstock, and sometimes that looks amazing. It doesn't sound like it would, but it, it can look really cool. So get creative on what you print on. That's my first tip. And the other thing I wanted to show you, I did these. It's it's a background page with a, just a piece of washi tape. And so I do them ahead of time. And then sometimes I use little, little brads, little, you know, brad things to stud metal in there. And that can, I don't know. And then I glue it down and I don't have to worry about it coming up because I know it's sturdy glued down. So that's another use for your printables. So anyway, I started my first junk journal. This does not have any printable on the front. And I'm not totally, I'm not hardly finished at all, but I wanted to show you how these things look in a, a project in, in construction. So this is a printable and a printable. This is not coffee dyed, but it's meant to look coffee dyed. And then I just ripped rip the edges and ink them. So that's just plain copy paper in a water bath. And that's so yummy, that sound. <laughs> Again, printable on this side, printable on this side, and the water bath, and ripped and inked the edges. This one is actually printed on, uh, there you can see a faint grid pattern, I think. Printed and then printed on this side and then coffee dyed. This was just kind of a, a coffee dyed texture and then I coffee dyed over it. And ripped and inked the edges. And it sounds exactly, it sounds exactly the same. Well, maybe not. That's a little crunchier. This was journaling cards, except I didn't cut them apart. I just left two together and turned them into a little book. And this was a fussy cut and a little a little card there. I didn't finish this one yet. And this is a vellum pocket that I sewed in. There's that washi tape with a printable behind it. This is a cardstock fussy cut. This is a, a printable uh, pocket here. And then I put a piece of, I cut out another piece of it on, or I printed another piece of the same thing on uh, rice paper and cut that out. So the pocket had that print on it, but then I also cut a second one just to give it texture. These are not a printable, that's just something I had. Washi tape again, that's a piece of a printable. That's a journaling card. And on the back I printed a, printed a, um, like an old paper thing, an old paper texture, and I glued that on and inked it. So it's not just plain, it's not just plain white cardstock on the back. That's cardstock. And then this, that was one page I printed, just copy paper, and then a second page on the back with some stamps. And this was a journaling card I left as is. Well, I did ink around the edges. And I printed on the back. And then this is the tissue. So that's tissue paper decoupaged on. And you can see the white just disappears. And it just seems like it seems like part of the card. And, but it has texture. So that's cool. I like to do that. That may be my favorite thing to do is print on tissue. Oh, I'm wrong this. 
This is my favorite thing to do. I just got, see that shine? I just got this, the most amazing thing in the world. Glossy accents. It goes on like a glue. And so this is cardstock fussy cut. So I, I printed the fussy cut page on cardstock and then I put the glossy accent all over that. Oh, and it's so cool. It's so cool. I already know what I'm going to make. I'm going to make, I'm going to make small numbers in circles and then in a frame and put the glossy accent on top. So it looks like an old typewriter key. And when it's spring, I'm going to dry wildflowers and put, put them on some kind of background, probably like this, a little, a little frame like this. And then, and then glossy accent the, the flower. Oh yes. Yes. I'm having, I'm having fun. So anyway, I like that. <laughs> This was, again, tissue paper, tissue paper on a tag, and some other little things I had, some embossed paper. And this was another journaling card, which I, I glued onto a tag and then added some things. And then that's the back. So just because it's a journaling card, doesn't have to stay a journaling card. This page printed out with these roses on it. So it was, it came just like this, except then I, I took tea bags, old uh, tea bags that I washed and dried and then put that on there and it gives it some amazing texture. So then it's more than just, you know, a piece of paper. It's got it's got some real substance to it. So I did that on both sides. I like that. And I purposely put these pockets on this page. Sometimes I cover up this, the sewing from the pockets, but I, I like them. I like them on that. So that's why I, you have to think about where you're going to put your pockets. And I like the way that looks. So that's why I did pockets there. And then this, was a pocket just on just on paper just on copy paper and then which I sewed on then I fussy cut out of cardstock this this and this and that gives it dimension and it gives it a cool edge here but it's sturdy because it's on cardstock this is a journaling card ah oh, more glossy accents but there it is Shiny, shiny, little shiny teapot, little cluster. And then here's the same teapot, except this is on tissue. So you can make the same, the same image look a whole, a whole bunch of different ways. Journaling card on cardstock. And I actually glued paper onto the back of this one and inked it and stamped it. This is, ah, oh, more glossy accents. My little cup is shiny. Um, washi tape with some digital print behind it and tissue paper here. And those are all from my digital kit. This was a little rub on stamp, which are very cool. I like those. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was back here. So when I print a background on cardstock, that's good for a cover kind of thing, or it's also good for a flip out because it's nice and sturdy. If this was paper, it would, it would probably kind of collapse under all this that's going on. So that's one reason to print on cardstock. So you just have to think ahead before you print. These I've all kind of told you how I did those. And so that's that, that's the run through. I would suggest that when you get your digital downloads, put them all on your computer in the same file or the same folder 
so you always know where they are. And I would also suggest if the name doesn't make any sense to rename it. So in six months, when you're looking for for a certain file you know you have, you're not going to remember that it's called Midsummer Night's Dream. You're going to think, oh, I want that blue, the mostly blue with the bugs and the flowers. So I would name it that, you know, mostly blue with bugs and flowers because just think about how you're going to remember it because I doubt you're going to remember the fancy name. So anyway, those are my tips. I hope you learned something exciting and thanks for watching. Bye.